The U.N. Special Rapporteur, who recently visited the Philippines, acknowledges the country's efforts to finally put an end to the sexual exploitation of children. Still, the foreign investigator noted certain things that needed to be improved and made several suggestions on how to go about it. Kenneth Pacente has more. On her 11-day visit to the country, UN Special Rapporteur on the Sale and Sexual Exploitation of Children, Fatima Singhate, commended the cooperation of the Philippines in strengthening steps to prevent sexual abuse of children. Singhate insisted her dialogues with concerned parties has been significant. The Philippines has made noteworthy efforts to improve the policy, legal and institutional framework in view of protecting children against the many forms of sexual abuse and exploitation and sale of children. I truly appreciate the, dedicate, the dedication and commitment of service providers working on the ground to safeguard the rights of the most vulnerable children. However, she also criticized some shortcomings in addressing the issue of child abuse, just like the lack of data and underreporting of child abuse in the country. She also suggested that there should be a designated children's court in the country so that resolution of cases of child sexual exploitation be expedited. With child sexual abuse cases, they need not only do they need the expertise, but it should be decided expeditiously. Delays causes trauma on the victim because the victims would get to relieve his or her trauma over and over again until the case is resolved. Singhate also assessed the issue of child labor, illegal adoption, child marriages, and teenage pregnancy. I underscore that there is a need for more support, financial and human resource support, specialized human resource support, including trained licensed social workers, psychiatrists, and medical practitioners. Singhate is in the country after being invited by the government to get ideas on how to combat child abuse. Kenneth Pashente for The Nation.